morning everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to give you a full hotel tour of H10 Solaris Palace just behind me here. So this is the entrance to the H10 Solaris Palace. So yeah, as you're walking you've got the fire on the left hand side here. Uh, you've also got a computer just over here just in case you need to do any kind of work or otherwise you need a PC for something. And then as you walk in on the right you have a machine here in case you need any cigarettes or tobacco. You've got a cash machine which I wish I knew was here before I got charged £4 the other day but that's another story. And then you've got some kind of leaflets here, various things around, things like Caps Lou and you've got the Port of Ventura Halloween stuff here as well. Uh, different information about excursions and experiences you can do in and around Salou. So as you carry on in the foyer, just on the right here you've got some kind of artwork up here which is really cool. Uh, you've also got these lifts which is leads to one half of the hotel. Uh, these lifts on the right do also lead to the spa and the uh, rooftop terrace area upstairs which we'll be showing you in a bit. Okay, so in the spa here we have a little pool area as you can see and just up here there is a hot tub as well. Um, as we walk a little bit further down towards the left here there is a sauna which is currently out of order due to COVID I believe. And there's a steam room here as well which is sadly the same story. Uh, and then as we go through here we have kind of a section, just kind of an open space really where you can kind of do some exercise, do some yoga, whatever you want to do. And then through here there's a little gym as well with some uh, some kind of machines and some kind of weights there and stuff as well, a couple of treadmills in here. Uh, yeah, it's a good little space. I've got some towels here as well just in case you need to uh, wipe your stuff down after you use it. And then as you turn left as you come down the stairs you've got what looks like a conference room here on the right, in case you need that. Um, looks like it might be a similar story with these doors as well, although honestly I'm not too sure. And then over here, <laughs> this is a kids club but it's now next to the restaurant Naturalia. Um, we're not here with kids so honestly on the kids side of things we can't really tell you very much at all but I would encourage you to have a look around YouTube or somewhere else to see if you can find any more information. Through here are another set of toilets and then we come back to another set of lifts here and then presumably the stairway to get back upstairs maybe. So this board shows you the different activities that we'll be doing throughout the day and also the what well, it shows that there's going to be an evening show. Yeah it's really cool you had things like kind of cocktail games and guess how many sticks are in the bag and Pictionary and stuff it's been quite fun while we've been here actually. And like the aqua fit and aqua gym that's, that's been quite entertaining and then they have a nighttime show at 10 o'clock and then if you do have kids, these are the sorts of activities that they do. And tonight, this is the sort of live entertainment you can expect in the evening. Yes, we've got a singer on tonight and then tomorrow there's a... It's called a Zoom Brazil show, I don't know what that is, but it sounds, it sounds interesting. Looks like it might be maybe acrobatics, dance, mm -hmm. sort of thing. And then down here leads towards the main bar area. There are a couple of bits here that I've worth showing you. Um, there's just some merchandise around. This old H10's mascot is basically uh, Daisy. Um, he kind of comes around in the evenings and stuff when you're having dinner. And kind of, it's, it's, it's not like little entertainment for the kids and stuff, but they do come up to the adults as well. So just, just, just a warning if like us, you're really awkward around characters <laughs> whose faces you can't see. <laughs> And we've got a few little seating areas here as well, if you want us to have a seat inside. Just on this room on the left, as you walk towards the bar, you have kind of a little mini arcade game area for the kids as well. Uh, or kind of adults, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, yeah, seems really cool. Got a couple of uh, air hockey tables here as well. What's this over here? Got any idea what this is? Um, is it like air hockey football? It's like kind of an air hockey. I have no idea what this no, is. If you know what this, if you know what this is, let us know in the comments. Yeah, and then here you've got the bar area, and then you've got kind of an indoor seating area as well. They do do some uh, indoor entertainment at times, and then some outdoor entertainment some other times. 
As you can see at the back there, they do have three pool tables here too, just in case, uh, just in case you fancy a game of pool. And in the middle here, you do also have the stage where the uh, entertainment happens indoors. So as you walk out the bar here, you've got the entrance, one of the entrances to the pool area. Uh, just on the left here, you can see this little structure here, which is the stage for the outdoor performances when they happen outdoors. And as you walk past the stage, we do have a futsal table here and another couple of pool tables here as well. And then as you walk past the pool area, you've got this little sign towards the left here, which leads to the entertainment area. This is news to us, by the way, so, um, yeah. Yeah, this is complete news to us. Behind here, there's like a little lawn. I do believe they said they played French bowls here, so I assume this is where they do it. Um, it does look like there's a little uh, ping pong table over there as well. I'm not sure if they provide bats for you, to be honest. And then if we pan towards the right here, this is the mini club, the Daisy mini club. And then further to the right, we've got a little kids play area as well. I must admit, I had no idea this was here. Um, as you come out of the bar, turn left to go past the pool tables. And then there's just a little sign which will lead you to the entertainment zone. Okay, so from the entertainment area sign down here, if you follow this path down the stairs and to the right, we will come out back towards the pool again. And back here you've got like a little kids paddling pool type area as well. Over there is some seating where we came from the bars originally. Uh, and then we'll head over here towards the main pool. And when it's open this also serves as a pool bar for guests as well. And then as we come to the main pool area here you can see that they've got the water feature turned on which is really cool. Uh, just towards, I'll zoom in here. But you can just see a kind of little section here. This is actually a jacuzzi which uh, guests can use. It turns on periodically and I'm not sure if you can control it or not. Certainly we didn't find a way to control it, but it is quite nice when it's on. So as you can see, it is quite a large pool. And there are a lot of sun lounges that you can choose to lie on. And if you're like me, you need a bit of shade, you have plenty of parasols as well. There's also a shower here, so before you go in the pool, you can give yourself a quick rinse before you go in. As well as the sun lounges, there are also some outdoor seating. And there is some up on this balcony type area as well. And there are some seating just as you come out of the hotel as well. So outside of the main bar, near to where the outdoor stage is, we've got more seats in as well if you want to sit out here, and it's in a covered area. And then if you're wanting to order from the menu, you can just check the menu out first with the QR code on your phone. Okay, so we're now currently on the right-hand side of the pool, so you will turn right as you come out of the main foyer. And as you can see back here, I don't believe it's open at the moment due to it being out of season, but there is a, another poolside bar here, or at least what looks like a poolside bar. Uh, there's some slightly more secluded areas here as well with some parasols in them. I suppose you could sit back here if you wanted to, but we've never tried to before. Um, yeah, and then just wanted to let you know as well, we won't show them on camera, but behind this waterfall feature, if you walk down sort of this area, uh, you will find a couple of wet toilets as well, just in case you need to use it whilst you're poolside. Okay, so as you turn right before the pool area, this is where you'll find the main restaurant. In the centre of the room, this is where you'll get the main part of your meal. So it's breakfast at the moment. But if you're having lunch or tea here, again, you'll get your plates from down here and just choose what food that you want. The back of the restaurant they do have a kind of a grill station. Yeah so in the mornings they do like omelettes, fried eggs and then in the evening they do a bit more speciality dishes like steak, burgers, kebab, that sort of thing. And this is just a view of the dining room. There is extra seating as well but we're currently off peak season at the minute so that's not open at the moment so during breakfast they do have a toaster for you to use selection of breads there's also a microwave that you can use for any meal to heat up your food there is another bacon 
bakery section just at the back of the dining hall and they do have for breakfast a lot of like pastries as you can see here and also bread rolls and then during the dinner time service it's more just bread rolls and another toaster for you to use and just towards the entrance of the restaurant, they do have a tea and coffee machine here, and then also uh, a machine which will spell some juice and hot water. You also find something similar just over here and then just over here as well. And these are all free of charge as well. If you've had a drink with your evening meal or your dinner time meal, then this is where you would pay. This is just at the very entrance. And when you are first coming in, you just give your room number here and then you can be seated. So as you come out of the lift here on floor six, there is a kind of a rooftop terrace area. I do believe this terrace is adults only as well, so it's a good place to kind of come and relax. If you turn towards the right hand side, you've got some fantastic shots of Porto Ventura and Ferrari land. Red Force in particular there is looking outstanding. And then as you pan towards the right, you get some pretty good views of Shambhala and Dragon Khan as well, as well as kind of the wider, theming around Ferrari Land as it is a bit closer to uh, this hotel is a bit closer to the Ferrari Land side of the park. As you come straight out of the terrace there is also a jacuzzi here and um, you'll do well to not have anybody in this so uh, I think it is a case of uh, first come first serve with this one to be honest. So it's a really nice place to just come and sit, chill, lie down and just relax. Great views if you want to see over at Porto Ventura. Oh, you can just look up and soak in some rays. Quite a lot of sunbeds up here as well. Yeah, nice little area. So to the right of where you come out, there is also a toilet here, so you don't need to worry about running down the stairs. <laughs> okay, so that was our full hotel tour of H10 Salaris Palace. We've really enjoyed it here. We're actually filming this on the final day. It's a little bit rushed, so apologies if we did miss anything, but we've loved this hotel. Uh, service has been fantastic from start to finish. Uh, we'll stay here again. We stayed in the junior suite room and we'll link upstairs and down below to see what that room was like. I don't believe you can book it through travel providers. I believe you can only book it direct through H10, but I may be wrong on that, so I always do shopping and stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you have liked this video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for our future content as well. Cheers, guys.